looks like a resentment of the Rivers APC delegation was first noticed at the main gate leading into the state INEC office. The convoy of the party's governorship candidate was not initially granted access by security operatives. This scenario lasted for almost 10 minutes before reasons prevailed, but not for the entire convoy. Only the car bearing Tonya Cole and the state APC party chairman, Emeka Beke. Again, there is a second hurdle to cross. The River State Resident Electoral Commissioner, John Alalibo Sinekem, was not on seat. Tonya Cole, the APC River State governorship candidate, did not find this funny. He addressed the media on the development. Essentially, we are time bound. We have 21 days from the time that the elections were declared to file. Some of our House of Assembly candidates had their declaration on the 18th, on the day of election. Two weeks have gone. We've written, we've put in for documents. We've uh, required for INEC to release CTC documents. Two weeks, nothing. They've not released one single CTC document. And we have to prepare a brief. We have to go to court. We have to prepare for tribunals. We have gotten court orders. They've been ignored. The APC chairman in River State, Emeka Beke, likened what the electoral umpire is doing to beating a child and expecting him not to cry. Yeah, we are protesting to INEC to make sure they give us what belongs to us. You've killed us, but you should allow us to bury ourselves. What we are saying, just give us a document. We are not here to fight. Give us a document and let's see what the judiciary has for the rivers people. The APC state legal advisor, DK Ihia Ishuku, is livid with anger on the treatment being meted on the party by INEC. As you can see, I have here a court order compelling INEC to allow us in spread documents, to allow us for them to give us CTC. This order has been duly served on them. They have refused. They have decided to disobey the law. I don't know where they are deriving their power. I don't know who they are working for. Are they working for the citizens of this country? Or they are working to enrich themselves? Or they are working for a specific, a particular individual that satisfies their urge? These are issues we are raising. Ibn Abbas Sam Bob Manuel is the House of Assembly candidate for Asari Turu Constituency 2 in the March 18th governorship and House of Assembly elections held in River State. Bob Manuel, a legal practitioner by training, has his own grouse against the electoral umpire. Up to today, more than half, two hours I've been here waiting for the person who's in charge to receive this application from me. So I think this is injustice. There's, after election, there's, there is another procedure of trying to test the veracity of what has been happened. But they're avoiding us. Why are they avoiding us? Efforts made to hear from INEX head of department in charge of documentation, whose office it is to release electoral materials, was vehemently rebuffed for no explainable reason. Meanwhile, opposition political parties in River State have alleged that the election results of March 18 are still being doctored to date by INEC electoral officers in connivance with the governing PDP in the state to align with figures that were declared by the umpire. Coincidentally, this INEC EO for Ahoda West local government area was seen seated at the premises of the electoral umpire during the APC peaceful protest on Friday. From Port Harcourt, the River State Capital, Andy Omano, Omano, Arise News.